If you have not tried steel cut oats, please try this recipe. There is a difference, there's such a difference in the texture and the chew of steel cut oats over regular oats. And the steel cut oats are less processed, so that means they're even better for you. Um, for this one, I started with four cups of water. No, I started with <laughs> one and a half cups of steel cut oats, four cups of water, two cups of whatever your favorite milk is, right? It can be skim milk, it can be plant-based milk, um, whatever your favorite milk is. Then I add in a pinch of salt, a generous pinch of salt, a tablespoon of cinnamon, a tablespoon of vanilla. And the wonderful thing about this recipe is that you make it the night before, right? You are making this the night before, setting yourself up for a really healthy breakfast in the morning. I let it cook on low for about anywhere from six to seven hours. And oh my goodness, when you wake up in the morning, your house smells like cinnamon and vanilla, and you're just inspired to eat whatever is in that pot. It doesn't look all that great when you first take the top off, but it smells amazing. And the texture, the texture of the oatmeal is just so incredible. Now, my favorite thing about waking up to a steaming hot pot of cinnamon and vanilla oatmeal is the possibilities. So once I have this pot of steaming hot <laughs> oatmeal, I can top it with whatever I want. You know, we're talking healthy, but also delicious. Do not judge. <laughs> For me, I have to have a pat of butter in my oatmeal. I know it's not the healthiest thing, but it's delicious, right? This is healthy and delicious. You don't have to add it, but for me, I just, mm, I have to have it. And then I top it with whatever fresh fruit I have. Sometimes it's bananas, blueberries. If you have frozen fruit, you can do that. And then a tablespoon and a half of pure maple syrup. And listen to me, y'all. And listen. Between the creaminess of the oatmeal, the sweetness of the maple syrup, the coolness of the berries, the aroma of the cinnamon, you will find yourself making this all the time. Check out the rest of my videos on the virtual godmother. I'm praying for you and I will see you soon.